Russia-Ukraine war. Shelling will not break us, Zelensky. Most dangerous decade to come, since the end of World War II, Putin. Russian soldiers edge closer to Bakhmut. Several cities grapple with power cuts. We are not afraid of the dark, says President Volodymyr Zelensky, as Ukraine's grid operator announces temporary blackouts in several cities following Russian attacks on energy facilities. Russian soldiers are edging closer to Bakhmut, which has remained under Ukrainian control despite Moscow's goal of capturing the entire Donbas region. Russia has attacked Bakhmut with rockets for more than five months. The ground assault sped up after Russian troops forced the Ukrainians to withdraw from Luhansk in July. Mercenaries from the Wagner Group are also reported to be leading the charge. Taking the city would hurt Ukraine's supply lines and allow Russian forces to continue towards Kramatorsk and Slavyansk, the crucial Ukrainian strongholds in the Donetsk province. The head of the Moscow annex Crimea said civilian departures from Russia-occupied Kherson were completed after he visited the region with the Kremlin's domestic chief Sergei Kiryanko. The work to organize residents leaving the left side of the Dnipro River to safe regions of Russia is completed, Sergei Aksyonov, the Moscow-appointed head of Crimea, said on Telegram. Kiev has compared the evacuations to Soviet-like deportations of its people. The US and its Western allies have dismissed Russia's claims that banned biological weapons activities are taking place in Ukraine with American support. Russia's UN ambassador had said Moscow would investigate the alleged development suggesting both countries are violating international laws. The dispute came in the third UN Security Council meeting on Ukraine-related issues that Russia has called since Tuesday. This one focused on a 310-page document that Russia circulated to council members this week alleging there is military biological activity in Ukraine with the support of Washington. Shelling will not break us, Zelensky. Ukraine's sole power grid operator announced a temporary blackout in several regions due to intense Russian shelling. In his late-night address, President Volodymyr Zelensky said, to hear the enemy's anthem on our land is scarier than the enemy's rockets in our sky. We are not afraid of the dark. Shelling will not break us. A senior official said that Kiev and four regions might have to cut electricity supplies for longer than planned after Russian attacks. President Vladimir Putin has insisted Russia's war in Ukraine is going to plan as both sides prepare for a critical battle in Kherson. Speaking at a conference in Moscow on Thursday, Putin also played down the prospect of a nuclear standoff with the West, which he accused of inciting the war and playing a dangerous, bloody and dirty game. As Western dominance over world affairs was coming to an end, he said, ahead is probably the most dangerous, unpredictable and, at the same time, important decade since the end of World War II. Putin did not mention any of Russia's battlefield losses, and when asked if there had been any disappointments in the past year, he answered, no. In a rare admission, Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov has acknowledged high losses in his ranks after artillery shelling by Ukrainian troops. 23 fighters have died, and 58 have been injured, Kadyrov wrote on his Telegram channel. Ukrainian sources reported earlier this week that a Chechen unit in the southern Ukrainian region of Kherson had given away its location via photos on social networks, which led to the attack. 
The Chechen leader, who is close to Putin, also called on his compatriots to be mobilized for the war in Ukraine.